my babies, you're here again with me, Bea B. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a subscriber already, then welcome back. But if you are not, then hello, subscribe now. Anyway, today is gonna be a lot of fun because as you can tell from the title, we're gonna do an unboxing. And it's ridiculous that there is another Chanel box in here. I thought this would never happen again. And yet, here we are. Aside from this, I'm also going to be running down the top 10 bags on my wish list. And yes, they are just on my wish list for now. Bawal na ulit bumili because I have no more budget. So all we can do right now is window shop and daydream and pretend that we still have the money. So before we delve into all of the amazing brands that there are, let's get into this Chanel that I got recently. So this is a fake unboxing because I ko na siya for <laughs> disinfecting purposes. But I will pretend that this is the first time. This is a bag that I was able to source from Japan with the help of Gachi Got You. And they are amazing, you guys. They're super friendly. You can tell them what you want. You can look at all of the detailed shots. And you know, super good it go with all the detailed shots because I want my bag to be perfect. So because it is from Japan, it is certified, authentic, no fakes here. They were super accommodating. They allowed me to do layaway for three months. Also, they give like freebies when you buy from them and it's amazing. I love it. This is it. Moment of truth. And you already tell just by looking at it. No tissue paper, but that's fine because we've got a dust bag. Oh, I also have the ribbon. Okay, so... I wasn't able to take a video of this box when it was ribboned nicely, so I'm so sorry to Gachi. I just could not recreate it, so... Aside from the dust bag and the bag, we also have some uh, felt cloths over here. This booklet it is white, Sessionel. It is, oh, my face. It's like a little magazine with nice photos of how the bag was made. Sewing machine photos. The chains, ooh. Inside this little plastic, we have this. Okay, so we have the care instructions here. In this other booklet, it's a lot thinner. Where's the English? Hmm. This is a luxury item and as such requires the best care. So, okay, I never actually read this, but I should probably read it. It tells you how to polish it and stuff, and which is why it comes with this. Stella over here. Put your hand inside and then you wipe. Wipe. Wipe it. Wipe. <laughs> and then you can wipe your bag with this to buff out any scratches, things like that. Here we go, friends. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. And here she is. Oh, girl! <laughs> girl, she got herself a dark beige, medium classic flap with silver hardware. It is so gorgeous. Actually, it's the first time I've gotten this little felt thing that you put in between the flaps. So, this is my first time to get a second hand with like no damage here on the inner flap. Usually, that's like damage like crazy, okay? So, it looks pristine. Oh my golly. Yes, I told myself I would stop it with these classic flaps, but you know, I really just couldn't stay away. Uh, I was able to get this right before the price increase, so I still got this at a really great price. It comes with an authenticity card, and this is actually my oldest one right now because it is a series 11. That is why if you squish it, it is a little bit squishier compared to my newer models. But if you're gonna talk about condition, this is the best one I have. There is literally nothing wrong with its hardware, nada. No scratches, nothing. Like I said, no dents here either. The only thing wrong with it, honestly, is you know, there are dents there inside the flap, but who cares? Corners, boom. Chains, boom. Back pocket, boom. I don't even know what to say. This was the best purchase ever. Thank you so much to Gachi once again for helping me source it. I love my new baby. Ooh, 
matches my outfit. One strap. <laughs> Cross body. Oh man, you know, the monochromatic outfits, I can already see. And if you want to do top handle, just put in the strap over here. Close it. And there you go. She top handle. So now I can finally say that I have my beige and I have my black. Honestly, with these two colors of like Chanel Classic Flaps, you don't need any more. Like, you're solved. That said, let's talk about the 10 bags that I still want even after buying this one. Let's start with number 10. I would still really love a Lady Dior in my collection. I would say that I want a small just because that size seems to be the most usable. The ABC Dior. But I swear the mini, there's just something about that chain strap. It makes it look so formal. It makes it look extra elegant. It's gonna be a tough choice between those two, but honestly, they are number 10 because they're beautiful, but I'm not really sure if it's my style. It's a little bit too girly for me. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I do a lot of streetwear, minimalist, whatever, comfy. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get her, but I mean, if I, for some reason, had unlimited funds, why not chop that? Let's go to number nine. I would love an Hermes Picotin in the 18 size, the smaller size. It just looks so adorable, especially in like the white color, the nata. And I've seen this in the gold hardware. So pristine looking, even if it was inspired by like horse bags, yung kinakainan ng horse. Because <laughs> Hermes is like an equestrian brand, right? I mean, I don't know. It's, it's just like a saho. <laughs> it looks like this bag will just stand the test of time. So it's always gonna be in style. It's always gonna be cool. And I feel like because it's so simple, you can dress it up or dress it down. Number eight on my list, I really want a Prada re-edition still until now. It's been around for years and years and years. And honestly, I've seen it everywhere. Like especially nowadays, everyone is in a Prada re-edition in the Safiano, in the nylon. There are so many versions and I don't know if I'm just being swayed by what I'm seeing, but it just looks so good. It's lightweight, it comes with like a multi-pochette version, which I really want. But sometimes you just have to step back and be like, do I want it now or will I still want it in the future? Because even if sobrang bagay siya sa mga outfits ko ngayon, I don't know if I'm gonna still want this in a couple of years and that is why I'm waiting. And if I still do, maybe that's the time that I'll get it. Moving on to my number seven, I really want an Alma BB from Louis Vuitton. And ever since I sold my Speedy in the event, just really been drawn to this canvas print. And I think the Alma BB is the way to go next. I'm still slightly confused if I would like to get a Speedy still because I have buyer's remorse and I would like that bag in a smaller size. But I think the Alma BB feels a little more elevated. Number six is something from Bottega. I don't really know how I feel about Bottega Ven Bottega Ven <laughs> Bottega Veneta because it does look a little bohemian which is not really my style but they do have this bag it's called the Joni and it is so cute a small one what it's so adorable and it comes in so many colors and people say that it's so soft and buttery and the quality is amazing but I really think it's one of those trendy bags that I, it's pretty high up on my list just because I want to try the trend but I'm trying to be more smart about my purchases starting tomorrow <laughs> and that means that i should really stick to the more classic styles that will not go out of trend in a couple of years number five is our dior saddle bag it is so awesome still people are saying it's out of style but i think you know for me i still really like it i saw this in an all black you know the black leather with the black hardware so edgy but really the problem with these bags is you don't get to see it in real life it's hard to tell is it heavy i haven't done much research about it i just really like the look i'm not much about the oblique i feel like it's a little too trendy might end up becoming a fad type of thing but just the plain leather Swabby. Also pretty expensive, mind you. Next, it's number four. We have our Pandora bag from Givenchy. I really want this bag just because 
it fits so much hence the name pandora's box the mini doesn't look like a mini it looks like it'll still fit my entire life in it i honestly think i i really will buy this pretty soon <laughs> ah! bawal na bawal bawal bea bawal pero ay sobrang gusto ko siya especially in the parang aged calf skin or what is it i don't really know the wrinkly looking leather it looks so good it looks so edgy but not trying too hard if you know what i mean and honestly the price tag is not that bad and that is why it is high up on my list because i've been on the lookout really for this one trying to get a good price for it i'm trying to look for like a cool color because a lot of my bags are black and i don't want all of my bags to be black if i find this bag in the material and color that i like i don't know i don't know i don't know can't trust myself anyway let's move on to number three this one i don't understand why i like it so much our celine nano luggage it i used to really hate this look i say hate because i i really did not like it and yet now it is number three what's going on i saw it in real life i held it and i was like what the heck this bag is cool. It is structured and yet squishable, but it is pretty expensive. Its resale value is actually pretty low. So I'm looking at it in the secondhand market if I can find one in really good condition. And in a really good price, I might just buy it. And by really good price, I mean like half the price, which I have seen before. But it was like a case of paunahan magmain and I was not fast enough so grabe yung mga tao bilis mag type but that is fine because at the same time I was still paying for my Chanel and I would have gotten in trouble if I bought one more bag if you're like me and you were like it looks ridiculous it looks like a face try it in like a single color it looks so cool number two we have the YSL Toy Lulu it is number two already because the more i watch reviews on this the more i want it because it just looks so easy to use everyone is just squishing it in their review videos and it is not getting destroyed and this aspect really appeals to me because i do not like taking care or babying bags so the toy lulu really looks like an amazing option for me especially since you can kind of change the chain you can use some other cooler chain if you're not into that thin leather strap and oh my gosh guys the black on the black hardware oh my god my number one is the loewe puzzle bag which i just realized i literally just bought <laughs> fail be a fail i wrote this list like last month and i didn't realize that i would buy this bag i went to shang the day before ecq just to look at it and they had like an installment plan oh yeah <laughs> I already have <laughs> my Loewe puzzle bag. I got this in a small size. And I don't know if you guys watched the unboxing. I'll link it up here. I'll also link it below if you want to watch it to see more about it. But no regrets on this one. Yeah, so that's my number one. I said these are bags that I will not get yet. And yet I got it already. See, can you trust me? Not with bags. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if, you know, I'm gonna buy all of these bags this year. I really shouldn't. And thus, I am taking this opportunity to appoint you guys to hold me accountable if I buy any more bags? Oh my goodness. Slap me. <laughs> Tama na bags. <laughs> anyway, are any of those bags on your bag wish list as well? Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of all of these and of this bag. Anyway, that's all the time we have for today. I'll see you again next time. Peace and love. Bye.